all right this is truck number two of the two I've been having to get back running and repaired and all again uh, this truck has not run since 2015 it's 2023 now June or yeah it's still June yeah <clears throat> anyway I've just finished doing the front axle boots on it just got the canister bolt in that I was missing to do the last fuel filter all the fuel filters are new engine oil is new oil filters are new I just put batteries in it hydraulic head o-rings have been replaced that's all good so let's see if it fires up my luck it won't but we'll see I forgot I haven't bled the fuel system yet, so bear with me. That annoying ass buzzer has pissed off the red wafts that are still in the cab. So let me open the other door. Not a little liberal application of fire can't fix. wings all over the floor. Okay, so it does run, but the throttle stuck down. So, let's see what I can do about that. Uh, yes, the throttle return springs is missing in action. So that's lovely. Uh, I know I don't have one of those around. That's always something.
This kind of sucks. There's no engine parts on the ground, so that's a plus. Uh, I'll probably run into town later, get a set of carburetor throttle return springs and stick one of those on there and call it good. Um, I do probably have a throttle return spring for one of these somewhere, but your guess where is as good as mine. Because all my stuff is scattered in the wind that I have left, so... Uh, I'm going to look through my tool bag real quick. I know I keep some little odds and ends parts in there. I may have one in there just from years ago when I still had a multi-fuel in my truck. But it runs. It lives. So the somewhere around eight-year slumber is over. This truck is good to go. Well, almost. <laughs> 